The BW Katja is more than its welded steel, more than its powerful build, more than a mechanized modern marvel summoned to surmount the seas and extract energy through engineering. The BW Katja is people, people who make it possible, people who are committed and deliver. BW Katja is a billion dollar investment and we need to have a clear and efficient execution model that aligns with the market situation to be successful. On top sites, BWO took the approach of E plus P plus C. The project model is based on Singapore-centric execution, where all the construction sites and vendors are within close proximity of Singapore. This allowed BWO to have a hands-on approach where the management can support the project team in delivering a successful project. The BW Catcher is an endeavor that crosses continents, vendors, subcontractors, partners, and colleagues in Norway, UK, USA, Japan, and Singapore. All have committed to core collaboration, that is the BW difference. In support of every stakeholder, we embrace the journey. We share the success. This project's been somewhat different in that we've had operations presence in the project since the very beginning. This allowed the operations team to feed into the detailed engineering phase, which resulted in uh, overall as managing to attain an asset which uh, ultimately will be safer and more efficient to operate in the North Sea. The UK North Sea, the Greater Catcher Area Development, BW Catcher's destination, it's one of the world's most exacting environments, and it's one that BW Catcher is ready for. Our state-of-the-art vessel is 241 meters long, 50 meters wide, 27 meters deep. It will be deployed to operate at 90 meters water depth, process up to 60,000 barrels of oil a day, and is expected to commence offshore operations in the Catcher field in the fourth quarter of 2017. BW's contract with Premier Oil runs for a fixed term of seven years, with options for up to 18 years more. But BW Catcher is more than sterling statistics. It's a tribute to triumph, to people coming from all corners of the globe, working as a team and overcoming obstacles. The FPSY is constructed in an interesting time, where the midst of the project, the market took a deep dive and several of the subcontractors are getting into difficult situations and their performance are affected. So BW took a hands-on approach to help the contractors financially and guide them and work very closely with them to see that this project is delivered in a successful way. And only a world-class ship can withstand what awaits BW Catcher. In rough seas, the FPSO is designed to weather vane, maintaining production. Uh, the BW Catcher is going to operate in the UK North Sea and as such it has a, a lot of requirements with regards to the regulations. A major part of the safety case is the performance standards that we've had to set and fully demonstrate to an independent body through design, procurement and now construction and commissioning. And I'm very happy to say that we're on full track for full compliance. The FPSO will be operating in the North Sea for hopefully 20 years and this safety case and the work we've put in here in Singapore and in other places on the project, we'll make sure that this unit is safe for that full 20 years. For BW, it's about embracing challenges, working together to meet them, and communicating openly, always. I've done several FPSO projects to date. Um, this one by far has been the most challenging, um, and, and it's also included a, a sort of unique approach where both the client, uh, ourselves, and all the stakeholders have all collaborated to uh, work together to, to achieve the safety record that we've achieved. From the outset we uh, established a safety charter. We've had quarterly get-togethers to, uh, to just look back over what we've done, what we've achieved, and to look ahead on uh, what the challenges are for each phase of the project going forward. Safety alerts, safety awards, and daily toolbox talks where safety is the subject. 
crew carry out job safety analyses to evaluate the task before they commence it. And if something goes wrong, work stops to ensure safety is observed. No job is so urgent that safety can be compromised. Anyone can stop work anytime, all in the name of safety. BW Catcher is executed on the principles of iLead, where people took a lot of pride to in demonstrating iLead culture. iLead stands for integrity, leveraging the team, excellence, accountability, and disciplined delivery. With iLead principles as backbone of our core values, the team approached as a single unified team in facing the challenges, and we are all aligned to overcome the challenges in the project in difficult situations. Delivering on time, on budget, and in full compliance, that meets expectations. Uh, last year, we have been completed an important milestone on the project. We have installed the mooring lines and the STP boy at the site on the catcher field. We have completed this job on, on time, despite many challenges. At site, we have had uh, many installation vessels working together and this had to be uh, coordinated closely together. So what I can say is that uh, this was a very good achievement to the project and it was thanks to the good spirit of all the team players. So what we can say is that together we have achieved. Now we're in the phase where the operations team is manning up steadily month by month and we're working very closely with the commissioning teams and the mechanical completion teams alongside the project management team preparing the FPSO for final operation in the North Sea and hopefully delivering the FPSO to First Oil as safely and as efficiently as is reasonably practical. The journey for the last three years has been a challenging one. The team has faced a lot of challenges and surprises. United as one, the team overcame all the challenges and it is only made possible because of their sacrifices and their commitment to the project. It's an honor for me to work as a catcher project manager for BW Offshore. The team has put a lot of efforts and sacrifices and coming as a single unified team delivered to the success of the project. I would like to sincerely convey my appreciations to the team members and their families for their support and letting the team to do extend hours safely on this project. Thank you very much.